at a certain moment t1, let us assume that the golf ball would have been here without gravity. Then I know exactly where it is with gravity. It must be exactly here because the exposition x t1 is the same because the horizontal velocity is the same. That's independent of whether there is gravity or not. There is no acceleration in the x direction. And so, they are both exactly at the same exposition. What is this difference? Well, that is the difference between the equation with gravity and without gravity. And why, as a function of time, you can look at equation number three there, if you can still see it, equals v zero y, which is v zero sine alpha, time t, minus one g t squared. Well, if there is no gravity, this term doesn't exist. So that's this straight line. With gravity, it's the same thing, but you have to subtract this. Therefore, this distance is one half g t one squared. That is this distance, because this curve is lower by this amount. Now comes the time that the golf ball hits point P, when its position is x t two, and the time here is t two. That means if there had been no gravity, the golf ball would have been there. They must have the same position in x at this catastrophic moment. So what now is the distance between the monkey and the golf ball, the distance between the two trajectories, one trajectory no gravity, the other with gravity, this distance equals one-half g t two squared.